Well, hi, tubers and tubettes. We're back with the world famous Paul and his, <laughs> <laughs> and his lovely girlfriend, Mia. And Paul came over today. He was kind enough to help a senior citizen on his computer. And he's helping me out with my picture arrangement and made my life a lot simpler. So thank you very much for that, my friend. It took me four days to try to work on one thing. He did it in eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so getting old is not pretty. <laughs> but you, you have uh, started a YouTube channel. It's called Paul's Adventures, right? Paul's Asian Adventures. Asian Adventures, I'm yeah. sorry. And so we were chit-chatting a little bit that everybody's girlfriend that's a vlogger goes off on her own and does her own channel. Yes, that's right? what's going on. And I said, you yeah. know, it was kind of cute and it was kind of original a while ago, but it's kind of getting, I don't know, it's just sort of one of those things that's maybe not that unique or, or anymore. And she was going to, Mia was going to start a channel, but you, you told me earlier that you've kind of changed your mind on that. Can yeah. you want to maybe tell the folks what they've got in store for them? Well, people who have watched my channel have seen me, and her English is really good, and she mm -hmm. has a bit of a British dialect. Thank so people, people love her dialect. And uh, so we thought about starting her own channel, so I put it out there to my subscribers, and I'd say 80% were for me and her, and then I thought about it, and I thought about what you said, how many other girls are doing it now, and I thought, you know, me and Mia, we have a pretty good chemistry and yeah. we laugh a lot and it's 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 people have commented on it that uh -huh. they like us together so yeah we decided you know what we, we won't do the same like everybody else we'll we'll try to go our own way and we'll we'll just do uh, a vlog together now sometimes you'll see only me because I might go to the gym and film the gym sure. or do something about my thoughts on a specific topic sure and sometimes she's involved in the topic sometimes she's not so yeah, but it, for the most part, it's going to be probably 90%, 80, 80 to 90% me and her on the videos from now on. Well, I think that's a great idea because, you know, people like to see happy couples. Yeah. Um, and then you got the people that like to watch the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of drama going on here. <laughs> it's not a drama, mama. <laughs> so you're going to lose those folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'd have to find a different channel if they yeah. want drama. <laughs> Just keep thumbing through. <laughs> yeah. Swipe but, left. <laughs> but, but, you know, that's, that's a dynamic that, that baby May and I kind of do every blue moon too. We just do it, and usually it's me bobbling on about something, and yeah. then it's me interviewing somebody. And uh, back in the day, I was doing a lot of stuff with Baby May, but we kind of have reserved that for our live streams, you know, where she sits in, and that's where we try to answer questions and, and comments and stuff yeah. like that. And that's been a good formula for us because Baby has a very, very limited English yeah. on the spot. Now, when she has a moment, like she just did a video and she spoke perfect English, but she was able to settle down, relax. I wasn't there intimidating her and yeah. she thought it through and she pulled it off brilliantly. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm hopeful in the future that her and I can kind of follow your example and we can start bopping around together. But the reason she likes me in the live streams is I can read the questions real quick and then she can answer them. She has know? time to think about it. She has time to think about the it. the English in her. But you guys, I think it's a great dynamic because people, you know, are going through hard times right now. Yeah. And they're having difficulties with the COVID. They've been locked up together. Um, a lot of folks are having dysfunctional things with the family life. Um, there's you know, been some behavior problems with the kids, the mm -hmm. wife, the husband, the divorce, the depression. And it's kind of like a little ray of sunshine to see a couple of nice looking young people enjoying their life. Young, not gives... so young. <laughs> <laughs> I might look younger than <laughs> It's all relative, babe. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> Youngest, younger. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> I have 48 hours to live. <laughs> That's how old I am. <laughs> but uh, it's just, you know, it's like a little, it's like a little burst of happiness, you yeah. know, and, and, and people need that in their life. Yeah. And and I think you guys can offer that. And then at the same time, it can be very informational. In other words, if you go somewhere, you can explain where you're going, what you're doing, how much it costs, what you ate, 
and give us an honest assessment of it. If you go to Bayouan, we were talking yeah. about, or you Bayouan, go to Davao, yeah. or you go here, you go there, and you got you know um, high hopes for this place, and you find out it's a crash and burn, then you just report the crash and burn, and, then and that- give people enough information that when they come out here, that they can make you know a logical decision, or at least they're informed. And the nice thing is that like she'll have, she might have a different point of view and stuff. So we do this walk and talks. And we talked about different subject matters, and of course, her views are different than my views, so mm-hmm. it's kind of nice to kind of interact with someone instead of just talking all the time. Even though I have my own thoughts, after talking for a while, you know, you don't know, right? Where do you stop, right? <laughs> so that's really nice, and her, her English is really good, and it's really improved, because I asked her the other day, like, uh, what do you dream in uh, English or Visayan or Tagalog? She says she, she dreams for the most part in English now. Really? So she's actually starting to think in English, so that's, so that's good. But she's actually starting to forget some of her Visayan. So no she'll be talking and it's like, yes. God, what is that in really? Visayan? And she'll remember the English word and she won't remember the Visayan wow. word. Wow, like, I didn't know that. Like when, I, when I talk to my sister, I speak in English, but... Because you like, feel more comfortable, right? Yeah. yeah. And when I try to speak in Cebuano, it's just so weird, like, well, because what's wrong awesome. with me? <laughs> so Cebuano feels like a second yeah. language now? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I think. <laughs> She's actually also trying to learn Norwegian, so. Okay. Because All we've right. talked about maybe moving to Norway in the future, uh-huh. maybe one or two years down the line. Okay. And, uh, so, so she's trying to learn a few words and trying to... I, not, it was more a few weeks ago, but now it's, we've kind of dampened it down. But for a while, I was actually throwing in a lot of Norwegian words to her for her to learn English. But something you said about the relationships, and I think this coronavirus has really been an accelerator on the relationships because I think people that were yeah that are, are, a have analysis. a good chemistry and and the coronavirus actually probably did better because they found out more about each other, they laughed more, and they did more stuff together inside. And I think that people who had a bad chemistry that were just coming home two, three hours a day and could like put up with each other, I think it kind of accelerated where they realized, you know what, <laughs> I don't need to be with you anymore. No, <laughs> when no. this thing is done, I'm out. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> you know? That's right. So it actually made me realize how much I appreciate her much more than before the coronavirus. So I realized like she's something I want to have for, awesome. for a really long time, you know, I've maybe, expressed, maybe forever. <laughs> well, I hope so. I hope so. You know what? I, I, uh, it's interesting because I, I actually said it in a previous video that the the whole time that May and I were quarantined together, I mean lockdown quarantine. Yeah, you know, yeah the, the ECQ. The ECQ. Yeah. We didn't have a bad day. No. No, no. Yeah. It was, the, and like, I was thinking what torture it would have been if I'd have been with someone that I wasn't compatible with, and conversely, yeah. how much torture it would have been for them. Yeah. But can you imagine if you had been with somebody that was just grating you the wrong way or had different always habits? Always in bad or, moods. Or, yeah, always grumpy Tempos. or making you grumpy and yeah. fighting all the time. I mean, that's, that's, that's just, I'm happy for you two guys. Yeah. I really am. And Mia, what, what 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 are your thoughts about the YouTube channel? Are you excited about it? Or are you are you I'm, were you nervous at first? Or and, I'm kind of nervous because yeah, because <clears throat> like one time I I tried to do some video, yeah. <laughs> but like I'm out of words. It's like the words are scrambling in my mind, yeah. and I can't form a sentence. And right. it's like oh gosh, I need to redo this. I need right. to redo this again. And then, well, you and actually then, did one, right? When yeah. you were walking, and she stopped because she was tired, and I kept walking, and then she, you, you talked about something and your thoughts and all that, and she said, no, don't put it on YouTube, and I convinced her that I should put it on YouTube as part of my, uh, my, uh, my video that, that day. So, well, just a couple of minutes or something, right? Yeah. And, and then like a 12, 14-minute video. So that was her first vlog, in a way, <laughs> unbeknowing to her. <laughs> you know what? It's cool though, because I don't edit nothing, and um, but I think it's awesome when people catch you like you, they do when you're the, the birth of your channel, okay? Mm. And they can see maybe a couple of flaws or mistakes. Yeah. But they've done it with Baby May's channel. They saw her as this little shy girl that wouldn't even come on the camera with me yeah. to her own channel to uh, her last video, she's modeling bathing suits. 
Where before, yeah. it was hard enough for Modeling her to say. Modeling bathing suit was 100,000 views. <laughs> it's, it's like number one with a bullet, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, she does always she get the highest hits. The girl in bikini does, and boom. She, you know, she does these all these intricate cooking things, and she's got all these ingredients. 500 views. 500 she views, bikini, you know? 100,000. You toss a little ass out there, and all of a sudden, it's like, woo! <laughs> I'm like 50 in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun for the evolution of the channel yeah. and people that are from you with you from the start. It's almost like watching a TV series, you know. Yeah. I mean, you see it evolve. Now, there was one other thing that you were we were chit chatting about, and then we'll wrap it up because uh, you know my my attention span's short. <laughs> <laughs> but you're into Game of Thrones. Yes, I am. And what's, Make the melody. And, and, do the melody. And, and, and do the theme. Do the melody. Do the theme. <laughs> do the theme to Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it by heart. <laughs> and it's no, because it it's, always plays it's, in it's, my mind. It's been what, two months since we watched it? <laughs> no, it's like three months, babe. Three months? Like... Yeah, three months since we, we watched it. And she still remembers the, the theme song. No, do it in Bassan. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, that's it for now. I just wanted to say, um, you know, introduce you once again, if you didn't catch him the first time, this is Paul with Paul's Asian Adventures and his beautiful girlfriend, Mia. And they're going to be doing some group stuff that I want you guys to tune into because they're a nice couple. They're going to be showing you some interesting stuff. And any last words from my, my two esteemed uh, colleagues over here? I'd say just follow my channel and uh, I have some advisory channel, advisory videos on there. And then it's just me and Mia talking about different stuff here in the Philippines and about life in general. All right, cool. Well, guys, as always, thanks um, for watching. When you tune into his channel, make sure that you like it, you subscribe to it, and you share it. And comments. And comments. And if you choose not to do that on my channel, I don't blame you. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.